There are days when I can't get out of bed. My bones, wearied by the systematic erosion of my psyche, down to the marrow. I'm already burdened by tomorrow before the day begins. When I can't face the false, high-pitched good mornings. When I'm sitting in meetings with people who can't stand me. It's days like these I remember. There's cocoa butter in the White House. The next time I see that I'm passed over for promotion, and get told in my formal appraisal that despite my years of service, my exceeding target set and the success of my extracurricular activities, I'm not ready for the next level yet. It's days like these I remember. There's cocoa butter in the White House. I strive on ignoring the disparaging remarks. Inside, I sing like a lark, oblivious to the ignominious poor treatment. I smile at the inequity that never forgets my address. The manager who says, I didn't think you'd be interested in doing this extra project, so I gave it to Jim. Yes. I know he doesn't have your experience and actually that's why I gave it to him so that he could develop important skills. The next time something comes up I will definitely bear you in mind. All ignored and not dwelt upon when I remember that there's cocoa butter in the White House. get where I'm going. There will be a harvest from the seeds I am sowing. I can feel myself growing every time I visualize collard greens and yellow plantain, rhythm and blues, versatile black hair, hues of black skin, generations of Africa, ancestral wisdom, all in the White House. When I reach for the next rung on the ladder and my fingers are under your boot, I look up at you in your fine new suit. You look down at me as an unwashed brook. When the halfway smiles, concealing full deceit, hang in the air above me, I'll take courage. It won't be this way always, because on days, on days like this, with all the energy I can muster, I remember that there's cocoa butter in the White House.